Okay, hello. Um, I had told some people that I would um, come on and um, share the reptile glue and what I thought about it. And then I got to looking at my glues and, you know, I have one, two, three, four, five different glues and I use them for different things. Um, I'll just tell you straight up right here, I'm not impressed with the reptile glue. It does not, um, it does not dry very fast and, um, it comes out too quickly and I barely, um, cut the tip off. I barely made a hole and I'm sure if I put it in a much, in one of the bottles with the needle tip that it would be maybe better, but, um, it seems like it would go a lot further than the, um, art glitter glue, but I just wasn't really impressed. I'll have to work with it and see, um, what I come up with. So anyways, I have, I'm going to show you the glues that I use and tell you how I use them. And then, um, I have a couple project shares and then a small Dollar Tree and Target haul. Um, just got a couple things. But anyways, to start with the glue, this is the reptile glue. And it just says, um, super strong bonding agent, great for home or office projects. It's easy safe to use and non-tox, non-toxic, clean it excess with a damp cloth before it dries. Reseal the cap after initial use. But like I said, it comes out really, really fast. Um, I have a really small hole in there. I barely even cut it off. Um, so I'll just have to see how it goes. Um, right now it's, it's at the bottom of the list. But anyways, I, um, I wanted to share, um, so I discovered the art glitter glue. Everybody got me into that and I love it. It dries fast and it takes very little. And um, so it's my go-to glue, but it's expensive. So I use it sparingly um, just for fine detailed things. Um, if I'm gonna glue some papers together because I don't want them warped, you know, and just, you know, I was thinking about it. I used to, when I first started crafting, I started out with Elmer's glue. And what a disaster I had. My projects were not um, pristine and really nice. So I love the art glitter glue. It's just a little expensive. Now my friend Anna in one of my swap groups turned me on to Fabri-Tac. And I love it. It does not warp your paper. Um, takes just a very little bit. And it is strong. And um, nothing comes off. Um, it says, fast grab and quick dry bonds, fabrics, lace, trim, leather, wood. It's washable, great for quick repairs. Um, and it comes in a, I have the two ounce bottle because I use it. I buy the bigger bottle and you can get this at Walmart or Joann's. Um, I buy the big bottle and then just keep it in my little tiny bottle. But I use that for fine details and things. Um, and then... Um, I used to use the Aileen's um, in the brown bottle, the tacky glue. And um, one day I saw the quick dry tacky glue. Love it much better. Um, I use this for um, things like buttons, bigger things that I glue. Um, it's really strong, all purpose, quick drying, and it's really fast. So, and then um, I saw that they make a clear gel tacky glue, um, which might be, might look nicer on your projects. I have not tried it yet, um, so I'll let you know how that goes. But I do love a quick drying glue, and I don't know, maybe the reptile glue just came out too quickly, and because there was so much of it, it you know, it took a long time to dry, but it was a mess. It about messed up my project. Um, okay, so for a swap, I have made, um, in one of my, um, groups that I am an admin in, um, we had to do, my swap this month was altering some frames, um, and make them in a file, um, fall, um, altered frames and embellish them. So I had, um, I had some frames that just come with like, um, all the little ephemera and things that you get. And I um, 
they didn't go with the fall theme, so I um, put fall papers over them just so that I would have that as the base. And this was my first frame that I came up with. Um, a lots of glitter, lots of different glitter. And then I found these little um, pearls at the dollar store. Super cute. And of course I had to add a little bit of my um, Nouveau drops. So that was my first one. I had to make four of them. And my second one has a scarecrow on it, family, a couple of little layered tags. And then um, I used a, a brad to um, go through all the layers of the ribbon. And so that's my second one. And then I put um, over top of one of the tags and this stuff amazes me. It is the, um, it's right here. I just discovered it. I don't know why nobody told me about it. Glossy accents. Amazing. Love it in my Nouveau drops. But it dries so clear and so hard, you cannot tell that that's not like a clear um, product that they put over that tag. So that's my second tag. And then I wanted to make one that was a little more dainty. I used the fall paper for the tag. Um, a, I had a piece of silver, just an embellishment. And then um, a little glass, um, what are those called? Gorgeous Girls. I added a little bit of tulle to it. And then... Um, put the pearls around it and put some of the pearls, this was so cute, right into the tool. So it turned out really cute. I wanted some of my frames to be a little more upscale, elegant, rather than just um, fun and fall. And then my last one I did um, has several layers of leaves and then the fall paper with the words. And of course I put the Nubo drops on it because I love Nubo drops. They're ready to go to. And then I have just a small haul from um, the Target Dollar Spot and then Dollar Tree. Um, I had to get some things for a swap. But they've started getting the craft items into um, the Dollar Tree, which are made by um, Crafter Square. Um, here's some of the, um, these are called DIY stickers. They're just like the wood veneers. You can do all kinds of things with that. Of course, I love using Nouveau drops on them. So I got that one. Um, the leaves and the pumpkin. I'm going to decorate some of these before I send them in my swaps. Um, these are just felt leaves. And you get 20 of them. And then I picked up some ribbon. For fall. And some of the mini clothespins. And you get 50 in here. So I thought that was really great. So Dollar Tree is getting crafty. And then I picked up, um, I found this cute little, it's for a swap, a planner swap. But it's a recipe binder. And it has a hundred sheets inside. You, um, it's just real sturdy, ring, double ring bound um, recipe planner. So I got that for my partner. And then I picked up this banner, if you can see it. It is wood leaves with the um, hemp um, twine. I'm gonna put this up in Greg and I's front room, but if this just has the leaves on it, and I'm going to, I got these um, pumpkins that are self-sticking, and I'm gonna decorate some of them and put them on our leaf banner make it at least a little bit like fall in here. I'm always making fall projects for everybody else. And so um, 
I wanted to make this one too. But, um, so anyways, that's my take on the reptile glue, some project shares, and then just a small haul. Um, sorry, I don't have a lick of makeup on today because it's just really fallish outside and, um, I stayed practically in my PJs all day. So, um, just been hanging out. Greg and I got pizza for dinner and he's over there slouched on the couch acting like he's going to sleep. And, um, he's not really, it's only like 930 here. He might be, I don't know. Anyways, um, until, um, my next crafty planner video or a project review, um, have a great week. Bye.